Use this defensive blitz screen to go ahead and get easy sacks and force your opponent into interceptions. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a defensive scheme I've been using online. Uh, what I like about it is that it gives a look to your opponent that he's not used to seeing. Uh, and it gives you an opportunity to get some good splash plays where you can get some sacks, uh, get some stops on the run and uh, force him to go ahead and try to attack your, your, your defense a little bit differently. Now, uh, this defense has holes in it, so you will get beat uh, potentially for some big plays if you don't uh, if your opponent makes the right reads, but uh, it, just like any professional out there, they will, they will provide holes in their defense to make big plays uh, and actually go ahead and bait their opponent into making a bad read. So uh, pr pros play this way, so don't think that, okay, well, this is not gonna, it's not gonna cover everything. There's no defense out there that's going to cover everything and give you pressure. So it's going to be out of the big nickel is going to be the base defense. And what I'm going to do is just show you the blitzes. That's, you know, people are like, give me the money. I want to build, uh, show the blitzes. So the first thing I want to show you is that um, uh, the base play I'm going to call out of the actual huddle is going to be the pinch. Now, as a courtesy to you, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you my controller so you can see me make my adjustments. As I as I go ahead and play, uh, uh, put those adjustments in. So let me go ahead and put that controller up right there in the middle of the screen, so you can see how I make my adjustments. So pinch blitz is going to be the play for the sake of this breakdown. And I know that people don't do this. I'm going to use uh, play action passes uh, primarily because this is phenomenal against play action passes. All right. So now, if I want you to take a look right now, I actually have basically uh, almost eight guys down in the box because the safety comes down. Now, if I switch into any other type of coverage, whether it's zone, uh, whether it is um, uh, some type of a blitz, my safety still stays down in the box. That's the key to this particular play, is that with that safety down in the box, it's going to give me a, a, a opportunities to go ahead and attack them. Now, uh, let me go ahead and show you uh, basically a stock play that we came down in. This is a man blitz. This is a very good play to go ahead and use. What you want to do is you want to pinch your, your, your defensive line and pinch your linebackers and then obviously user. Uh, and let's just see if we can go ahead and uh, get ourselves a nice little sack right here. So coverage comes down. Nice read by the CPU. But you can see the defender was actually coming down hot underneath him. So instant replay. Uh, it didn't make a difference which, which direction. It had this blitzer coming in that actually got held up on a block. And he was actually coming down in his, in his face. So I'm playing all Madden. The, the computer is going to make very, very fast breeds. So uh, he's going to get rid of the ball quicker than, than a regular person would because of the way this, this, uh, this works. And there was actually seven blockers on that play. So once again, we're going to go ahead and say that we're going to stay with the same defense. We're going to pinch both guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and use our linebacker. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and play that running back route. And right here, you can see the pressure just comes in hot. Now, you obviously can't play a man blitz against someone. But what's cool about this secret play is I can jump into other types of blitzes and keep them honest. Now, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the 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 WS Blitz 2, which is a, a Blitz a shell. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch into this play real quick. I'm still giving my opponent the same type of a look. Where is the weakness of the field? Obviously the middle of the field, and then if your opponent lobs the ball on the left-hand side over the soft squat, that's going to be a very big weakness. Now I need to send six if I want to get very effective pressure. So the first adjustment I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pinch my defensive line, get these guys down. I'm going to pinch my linebackers, and then uh, the opposite side of where the pressure is coming from, I'm going to go ahead and blitz that, blitz that outside linebacker. Now, another adjustment I like to do is I like to go ahead and take the linebacker I'm going to be using over the middle of the field, and I like to go ahead and put him in a hard flat. And the reason I put him in a hard flat is I feel like he stays closer down to the line of scrimmage and allows me to go ahead and bait my opponent uh, easier for, for, uh, for interception. So once we go ahead and do that, we're going to go ahead and you, know, you want to usually hold your right trigger when the ball is snapped. Let's see if we get the kind of pressure we're looking for. So you can see the pressure just comes screaming in there. This is play action, but you can see it comes in. If he blocks six, uh, this particular play uh, is going to get picked up. So 
three quick adjustments. Uh, they're global adjustments, and then obviously you have the the one adjustment with uh, with the, the linebacker using and wash and pressure coming off the edge right here to go ahead and get him for an easy sack. So. If he blocks six, he's using a regular pass play. Uh, it will actually get uh, get picked up, so you got to take that in consideration. Now, another alternative is use uh, uh, the the cover three version, which is going to be safety blitz three. We're going to go ahead and base a line. We're going to go in and pinch down, and then we're going to go ahead and blitz this left the screen linebacker and put this guy into his zone. So I've got a seam fat, flat off to the right-hand side. So really, once again, I'm going to be playing the left side of the field, looking for middle over the field uh, type of a play. And you can see right here, the defender actually comes in with that play action play. So six will stop this, but it's a situation where it's a chicken or the egg type situation. So. Uh, once again, to guys, you want to go and take a look at this bigger play. Look at my gameplay. Um, you'll see me getting beat uh, with it. You'll be seeing me uh, ma making some splash plays. But it allows me to go ahead and uh, make it very difficult for uh, for uh, just a regular person to go and stop it. And what's cool about it is that it's a universal uh, scheme that you can use against your opponent. So that's what I do like about it a lot. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. Uh, I hope you uh, pick up a pretty good... Uh, I hope this is uh, something that can help you on defense especially if you're playing draft champions and you need some type of thing. Um, what I like to do with this, this particular play is actually go ahead and, and use it um, you know, pretty much all game uh, unless my opponent forces me out, to, out of it. So thank you for your support, guys. Smash that like button, and until next time.